just uh, waking up at the computer. Well, still, you know, a bit late actually. It's raining out there. So uh, we just had a delivery from the post office postman uh, <laughs> running around doing his delivery in shorts in the pouring rain there. The, uh, the package is rather damp, but no problem there. And while I fill in, because we've just received my order for the flea tablets for Bear. So, that has worked out rather well. Actually, what I've lot yet to do is look at the dates. Ah, oh, the dates are good. No, we've got successful, successful, successful. Because that's, uh, that's, the dates are like a year. So, uh, yeah, can't complain about that. Right. Delighted, actually. Delighted. Right. Why am I so pleased? Let's. Uh, let, we might as well do this. It's, it's getting very late, and but it's raining. I, I mean, no rush to go out and have to sit around in the rain. Um, right. That was the last tablet that I got here, and uh, fifty. That was the price at the vets. Fifty-seven oh seven. Um. So, this time, I got a prescription. The prescription was 20 quid, but that enabled me to go online and get prescription-only medication. <coughs> so, I, I, I've laid it all out here. Um, right, so, the the vet price on the, on the 9th of Feb was £57.07 for one tablet. You know, absolutely extortionate markup. Now the equivalent for four of those tablets, you know, it's two hundred and twenty-eight quid. That's like a year, because they're, they're every three months allegedly. <clears throat> so uh, it would have been two hundred and twenty-eight quid. But what I've just done is got the prescription. The prescription was twenty quid. Pet drugs online, and I went straight to because I've used them before with um, uh, Bella's medication. I think it was. So I didn't even bother shopping around. I mean, I might have been able to get them cheaper. I, I just didn't even bother trying. Because I already had an account set up with Pet Drugs Online. Um, <clears throat> so, 20 quid for the prescription from the vet, which uh, you had to have. But then I went online and got these four tablets for 76 quid. So the total there is £96. So £96 as opposed to 228 28 Theoretically, if you want to look at it that way, I've just saved myself £132.28 by not getting those tablets from the vet <clears throat> because they put such an outrageous markup on them. So uh, there, there it is, right there. Um, that's shocking, isn't it? Absolutely shocking. But, you know, that's that's why I'm so flipping delighted to have had that uh, work out so effortlessly and, and smoothly. Can't complain about that. Can't complain about that. Right. Enough, uh, enough with the gluting over having saved myself that. Uh, ignore the fact that I need to vacuum. Uh, this is why uh, we need to do the fleet tablet thing uh, because when I finish waking up at the computer and Bear's been down here on his own, this is what I find. Great big clumps of his fur all over the place where he's been down here scratching and scratching and scratching. He only does it when I'm not around. When he's out on his own like that, he does it. So that is why we have to invest in these flea tablets. Uh, right, enough with that. We're going to go out in the rain. Vacuuming later. I 
I've uh, not dared to even attempt to cut the hedge here as I was of the opinion that there may have been birds nesting uh, there's too much rain on the wind and that's a shame I think there may be birds nesting is that a mature one or a youngster I can't tell Yeah, I, uh, that's that's why that, that's all horribly overgrown up here. It's next door's flipping hedge. All, almost all of my garden work now is next door's. It's uh, irritating beyond belief. I've even, I hate to say it, but I've even cut the top of that off because uh, it, the palm tree there was just covering the garden in its fonds all the time and there's no way of getting flipping rid of them. So I'm afraid that had to go and uh, if there's any consolation to people who disapprove of that, uh, it was in a pot when I moved in here. I put it in the ground and it's turned into that monster. So it had to go, it had to go. I just need less work in the garden here because I'm just not doing it. I can't. I haven't the energy <coughs> or the ability anymore. Uh, yeah, shut me up. I'm trying to trying to get going here. I need to get some salty water in a cup to uh, <laughs> do a, a bit of a nasal thing because I'm, I'm choking already before you even steps out. It's going to be a bad day, I know it is. I think that's an adult, isn't it? Maybe I'm uh, wrong about the nest in the tree there, in the bush. It's a slug. It's trying to wipe the, the goo off. Finally, crikey. In my garden there will be plenty more of those. I'm still I'm still trying to get going here, it's uh, not going too well. There's bells.
position if they're moving. We have pole position after waiting for ages. <coughs> it's 13 degrees, uh, zero visibility. It's a light rain as we know. It's uh, going to be a very short day today, thank you Bear. We shall go home and maybe even watch a bit of television. Maybe not. Vacuuming at least. It's uh, squirrel town. Plenty of squirrel about. There's a couple there. And one there. So it's all a bit deja vu here, isn't it? Looking a bit wet, mate. Okay. Don't do it, Bear. No. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Good boy. Good dog. Divers, it looks like. We've got a pretty pristine one of those. Do you want me to go on it today, Bear? Part of a ring pool. It's amazing how they seem to float up on the beach. You'd have thought they wouldn't be floating about like that. But they seem to be. 